This is the next video in the training series to help you to begin to prepare for your labor and birth. Again, I'm Shalene Massey, certified doula and childbirth and postpartum educator. And you may have heard that women may freak out and scream during labor. Well, I have supported hundreds of couples during their birth and there is some noise that women make and there, there is a birth sound that comes out when a woman is experiencing labor, whether she is birthing medicated or not. And it's important for you to begin to understand that pain coping mindset. And it's very normal to be afraid of the pain or the intensity of labor. Even if you're planning to get an epidural, there's going to be some discomfort and some anxiety that comes along with the discomfort and, and pain or sensations or surges, however we call them. Labor can be uncomfortable and it's not fun. I had a client one time that said, this is not fun and that's why it's called labor. And there are ways to learn to cope with labor however labor unfolds and cope with the intensity. There is intensity mentally and physically. The intensity mentally is having to ask questions, having to make decisions and experiencing the unknown. Even if you have a birth plan or you have practiced and learned a lot of information, read a lot of books about preparing for labor and birth, there is a lot happening in your mind. And the important aspect of coping with labor is to turn off your thinking mind and for your support people to keep you out of your thinking brain because you cannot think your way through labor. It's important to really be in your body and experiencing that internal mental and emotional place. And it takes practice. It's very normal to be afraid of pain. I get it. I don't want to experience pain either. It is our mind's job to want to avoid pain or be rescued from pain or to not even experience any kind of pain, whether it's mental decision making that causes anxiety and pain or physical sensations. And remember that labor pain, however you're experiencing labor pain, whether it's early labor, active labor, or whether you are experiencing natural labor pain up to the birth of your baby, it's normal. It's purposeful. Recognizing that labor pain is purposeful helps in the first step of learning to cope with it and recognizing that it's temporary, that it's not going to last forever. When you're in the heat of labor, you might be thinking it's going to last forever and it might be helpful to have a partner or doula or support person to help remind you that it's not going to last forever, help you to cope with each contraction at a time and recognizing there is a difference in normal labor pain and abnormal labor, and recognizing the stages of labor, which I also teach practical information in the stages, and for support people to help remind you that the normal labor is dilating one centimeter every two hours. Sometimes that dilation happens much quicker, which can cause just a freak out that your body and mind cannot keep up with what's happening physically and it might cause more anxiety because your body and mind don't have time to process the quickness of your labor unfolding or if labor takes much longer than that one centimeter every two hours, there might be something happening that is abnormal or that may not be what textbook is or what is one centimeter every two hours and that you might have to get more information about what is happening that you may or may not be able to control and figure out what you can do to cope with labor or to make decisions based on what's happening with each moment of your labor. It's important to prepare to be present with each moment of your labor and while you're in labor to not be thinking about the outcome or what's going to happen next or what's going to happen hours from now. There is a difference between pain and suffering. When I talk about pain and suffering, the suffering happens when we are creating a story about the pain. 
When you're experiencing a contraction and the sensation of a contraction and somebody comes in the door that you may not be familiar with or that may remind you of somebody that you weren't comfortable with in uh, previously or in the past and you might be thinking, oh, that person shouldn't go out or, or maybe a bright light shines over your head or a beeping sound happens during your birth and you're wondering, what's going on? Is something wrong? and it automatically creates this tension in your body, increasing the pain. You can learn to turn that brain off and to have a non-judgmental mindset with whatever is happening around you during your labor, whether you're medicated or non-medicated, and learn to deepen that focus, that peace, and remaining calm with whatever is happening around you, whoever is coming in the door, uh, whatever sounds, sights that you see or hear, whatever or whoever is touching you or what you're touching, anything that's happening around you, you can learn to cope with peace and calm and to lower your anxiety when labor is unfolding. There are practices that you can learn to cope with labor and to deepen your determination to move through labor each moment of your labor, however it unfolds and whatever decisions you need to make during your birth. It takes practice to deepen your determination to cope with whatever aspect of labor is unfolding and to not go into your default mechanism of get me out of this or avoiding any aspect of labor or give me the epidural right away when you're really in early labor and it takes determination and practice to really learn to move through with peace and calm and to lower that anxiety and to breathe through it and really experience that peace and calm as labor is unfolding. The practices that I teach are different than relaxation techniques and different than the pattern of breathing that you might have heard about in other birth classes or philosophies and I don't teach a pattern of breathing I teach basic breath awareness and it's important to learn to recognize your breath and be aware of what your breath is doing in any aspect of life and labor I also don't call them relaxation techniques because labor is not a time to fully relax, it's a time for hard work. Again, whether you are planning to birth, medicated or naturally, labor is a time to really work hard to bring your baby into the world. And relaxation techniques can awaken a critical judge mindset. If you're practicing those prenatally, you might think, I didn't practice enough, or I didn't do them right because I am experiencing pain or something that's uncomfortable. So I call them pain coping practices to learn to cope with the sensations of labor. Again, if you have questions or comments, please post them in the comment section. Blessings on your pregnancy, birth, and postpartum journey.